This is a lecture on cardiac output, vasopressors, and inotropes. At the level of the heart, your inotropes increase cardiac output. Remember that cardiac output is equal to stroke volume multiplied by heart rate. But before we start talking about the effects of vasopressors and inotropes on the heart, let's go over some essentials. You will often hear the words chronotropy and inotropy when talking about vasopressors. Chronotropy means having to do with heart rate. Therefore, increases in chronotropy means increases in the heart rate and vice versa. Inotropy means having to do with cardiac contractility. Therefore, increases in cardiac contractility means increases in inotropy. But the heart can also increase stroke volume without the use of medications. You might be familiar with the Frank Starling Law, which states that as end diastolic volume, also known as preload, increases, so does stroke volume. This is because the more you fill the heart with blood, the more the ventricular walls stretch, and like an elastic or a balloon that is stretched further and further, the heart will contract or snap back to its original shape with more force. Another factor that increases stroke volume is a decrease in afterload. Now back to cardiac output. When our heart can't do this adequately by itself, this is when we use medications. What inotropes do is causes an increase in cardiac output by affecting stroke volume. They cause an increase in cardiac contractility, or inotropy, which in turn causes increases in the ejection fraction, leading to more cardiac output. In simpler words, inotropes cause the heart to slam harder, causing more blood to be pumped out. Vasopressors and inotropes also increase cardiac output by increasing heart rate, or chronotropy. And by increasing your heart rate, you pump more blood out of the heart per minute, therefore increasing your MAP that way as well. So now you have a two for one, at least at the level of the heart, to increase or maintain a mean arterial pressure, either by increasing stroke volume through contractility, or inotropy, and by increasing heart rate, or chronotropy.